This is what investigative journalism is all about, I think. I think this is what people expect on YouTube. Now, I, all I can tell you is they have over nine 9 9-11 calls a night from a specific area in Rochester, Minnesota. You can't see it in the video. I'm not going to show it to you. It's a small area, really, but it's public housing. And it's where they're funneling Nigerians, Somalians, and ironically, people from inner city areas like Chicago. What's going on is the Chicagoans are fighting the Nigerians and the Somalians. The American government is sending them both, all three, into the same location, and they're having a virtual turf war in an area we can't even take you to. What they're doing is they're shuttling people back and forth from Motel 6 and five other motels in the area. The motels are actually paying for it to be shuttled, shuttling these people. And uh, a lot of people are coming in here sick, dying. Uh, this young man is leaving, probably going to the clinic right now because he can't find, he can't make it on the shuttle bus. He missed it. A lot of these people look ill, look like they're dying. Uh, Somalians, uh, Caucasians, uh, Nigerians, m there's a mix here. Uh, I'm not here to pass judgment on people. I'm here to get to the bottom of this. I left a message with the public relations at Mayo Clinic to call me back. Hopefully they will answer some of the questions that I've got. So this is like a complex. This isn't just Mayo Clinic, folks. This is like a complex. And i got to tell you, I don't see a lot of Somalians walking on the streets, except for maybe right here. There's one. You notice how abject poor tend to kind of like look like they're, you know, tired all the time? That's because they are working their butt off to live in this country. And believe it or not, to them, getting here is a 99% of the battle. If they got out of Somalia, they are one of the few, the rare. And I got to tell you, I commend them from getting, for getting out of their country. I commend all the Nigerians for getting out of their country because it is hell there. I've met only a few Nigerians in my life. Look at the roads here. I mean, the roads are worse than Nigeria here. What, what do you think is happening? You think we're, you think this is becoming like Nigeria? You see all the road work going on? You think that this whole area is becoming slowly like Nigeria? Maybe. Okay, uh, the reason, one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is, well, it's, it's personal. Uh, my family used to live here. Uh, they were Norwegian immigrants from the 1800s, 1700s. Uh, they used to get treated here. Like the Somalians and Nigerians, they wanted to get quality treatment. What I just saw, uh, is I saw a young Caucasian couple trying to get health care. They missed the shuttle. They had to get in the car, and they had to race over to the clinic. I saw on their dashboard a picture of their daughter. Their daughter is sick. They're racing just like my parents did. Two, they're racing to the Mayo Clinic to take care of their daughter, which because they missed the shuttle. Why do I get teared, teared up thinking about this poor couple who's taking care of their daughter? racing to the clinic. Why do I? Because it's a personal issue. And now I'm going to tell you there's a personal issue going on here at the Rochester. I'm going to get a call later today, hopefully, from the public relations man who's going to talk to me. And you'll probably see that video in just a second. Hi, this is David John Sponheim. I'm making a phone call to... Uh... Hey, Kim, it's uh, David John, a presidential candidate for the America's Third Party Independent Political Party. Did you get my message last night? Excellent. Okay, great. Well, we'll look forward to hearing from him sometime later today, then. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. All right. We'll know. We'll know. We'll know. Here we go. Mayo Clinic. Mayo Clinic. Great sign. Cool. I'm going to go left. I believe there's a couple of people sitting on the chair there. No, they're statues. Wait a second, they're brown statues. What? Brown statues? Is this for real? See, there you go. A white rooster. Now that's, that's kind of the opposite of the black statues. All right, I'm beginning to get a picture here. All right. The Mayo Clinic. That's the Mayo Clinic. Now this is one of the most premier facilities in the country. And what I would like to do is show you 
what quality health care in America means to so many people. Uh, all the rumors that I've heard so far are untrue. Mayo Clinic. Oh, there you are. There you are. There's people sitting out in front. There's people sitting out in front. Oh, those, oh, there we go. Okay, you see that? What? There were immigrants from India sitting in front. There's some you know, people from India, as I said earlier, right there. You see them in the wheelchair? Yes. Now, they're, they're clearly not local. All right? This is, the, this is the bus that carries people to and from the motels. But I don't see any anybody of, of color. And I, I don't want to make a big issue of this racial profiling thing. But... So we debunked the... We're the debunking story. the story that immigration is the problem here. The, this, the system is being used by countless older people. Uh, this is this is a real problem. Yeah. Hold the camera. Excuse me, sir. E excuse me, sir. Uh, how many? How many? By, I'm just curious. How many people on your bus are Nigerian or Somalian? Just in general. Ninety percent. Fifty percent. Oh, maybe. Five percent? Yeah, I don't have many on my bus. Okay. Do you, you go to the Motel 6? No, that's the different driver. Oh, because I've heard the, oh, the different driver is Motel 6. Has, have you heard complaints at all from him? No? No, I haven't. Okay. We're trying to figure out what's going on, because somebody said that there's a lot of Nigerians and Somalians coming into this area. But there's been a lot of them here for years. Oh, for years? For years, yeah. They live here. I know. They have every right to be here. They work in, uh, where some are working mail, some go to school, some are uh, still high school students. Okay. I'm just trying to figure it all out. That's all. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a citizen trying to figure all this stuff out. Thanks so much. I hear you. Take care. All right, so that's the bus. <laughs> I'm, uh, I gotta tell you, I fact finding is one of those things that you just don't know about. I mean, sure, there, there are people that have been living here all their life, they work here, their life is, is built around, like he said, schools. I hope you got that. Schools, uh, education, they're not being dumped here. There's a small area that I was told about that is having a turf war and the police are being called to that area. The, the rumor that they're being dropped here is, is just a rumor, and I, I'm here to debunk that. I'm David John Sponheim. You're on ATP Live. We are doing this show because we are controversial and we contradict ourselves sometimes. So thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. I'm David John Sponheim, and I approve this message. Check us out at americasthirdparty.com.